everybody. It's Laura Jo again from Storytime with Laura Jo. And I've picked another story for you. And today I'm going to read Duck Soup by Jackie Urbanovic, a New York bestseller. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley and potato soup. This would be Max's masterpiece. Ooh la la. This is going to be grand. Max had made lots of soups before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon, red hot chili soup, squash gumbo, cracker barrel cheese and marshmallow soup, and way, way too many bean soup. He had cooked them all, but every recipe had been created by another chef, not Max. Now he was making his own soup, the soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would be remembered for inventing. Slurp, slurp, sip. It smells perfect, but the taste is not quite right. Hmm. Max thought it over. A pinch of this? A pinch of that? Broccoli? Zucchini? Chives? That's it! It needs an herb from the garden. Just wait, my delicate broth. Max will be back to make you perfecto in un momento. Smack! The front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and Bebe walked in. Sniff, sniff. Ooh, what smells so good? asked Brody. Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than last time, said Dakota. Hey, Max! Maxie! Where are you? called Brody. We're about to eat your soup, added Dakota. So, what's wrong? asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. Dakota gasped. I think I know where Max went. I told him he should never cook alone. Do you think he fell in? I'm sure he did. Call for help, cried Bebe. Help! There's no time, said Dakota. Max, grab the spoon, yelled Dakota. That won't work, said Bebe. He can't hear you. I know the strainer. Strainer? The big bowl with the little holes. Grab it. Brody hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would stay behind. Brody replied. Eyeballs! His eyeballs, said Bebe. Guys, it's only tiny onions, said Brody. His feet, yelled Dakota. Calm down, you two. It's only carrot slices, said Brody. Smack! They all looked up as the front door slammed shut. Who could that be? night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Irene. And you'll cook your perfect soup someday soon, she added. And it'll be great, said Brody. Really great, said Bebe. We no 
know you're disappointed, said Irene, but at least you're not duck soup. And they all agreed, even Max. And that story is called Duck Soup by Jackie Urbanovic. I hope you liked it. Until next time, bye-bye.